Hey everyone, we are here playing Warmaker, a recent release from Runehammer, at least Warmaker 2.0, which is Runehammer's um, tabletop wargaming engine. It's great, it's slick, it's awesome, and I've been playing it the last few days, a um, couple weeks, just with my little setup at the desk. And I thought it was about time that I actually started a war and see what happens. And I'm going to pl be playing in my favorite ICRPG setting, Bearcats. And in this particular battle, to initiate the whole conflict. We have the military who is going to be responding to the invading force of the invaders who have already settled, kind of um, taking care of, uh, or kind of pushed out all the citizens and the military has finally arrived to address this. They don't know quite know what the invaders are capable of, but we're gonna find out if this goes better than perhaps the initial engagement um, recorded in the book. I've already got all my uh, abilities, um, set out. We've got some spiders, juggers, and a tank against some foot soldiers, heavy gunners, and some tanks as well on the military side. Uh, I've got my cards over here that I'm going to be referring to for their base, base, uh, basic abilities. Um, as well as if, it, if there's questions about what the enemy does, I'm going to be rolling on the solo kind of table to see if there's some guidance on how they approach. Otherwise, we're going to be trying to best you, you know, make our best judgment. And then I've got my rune hammer corn for my range. Now, if this is the first time you've heard about Warmaker, um, I'll have some links in the description below that you can refer to. Rune hammer has some videos as well as the PDF is available for free over on the, the rune hammer site, so you can check it out. Um, but yeah, let's get moving along with this uh, this battle. And I think because this is a reaction to the invaders, the military has arrived. I think the military guys are going to go first. Um, as they enter into Fairview. So just using this, I'm going to move in and just say the heavy gunners over here kind of skirt the building, move forward um, as they're trying to make contact with the invaders. They're probably going to feel pretty brazen um, with their orders. Um, they don't know exactly what's going on, so they're going to kind of be, they're going to rush in because their their orders are just take out the enemy. So these guys are going to move in and the tanks we're going to slowly follow behind. Now these guys can move um, a little bit. Um, let's say, let's go, this guy comes along here. These guys have Howitzer, which allows them to attack every other round, but they can attack up to four away. Um, and they can't attack four range, and they have some armor. So, okay, these guys have moved in. They're not quite in range there. So I think for this initial, let's roll on the D8 and see what the response is from the invaders. Four. Um, these, the enemies make all attacks and charge, but preserve discard abilities. So these spiders are all ranged. The juggers are melee, and my elite tank is a uh, range as well. So these guys are fast. So we're going to move one. One. All of a sudden, these spiders come swarming out from the, uh, the crater. One, two. These guys are going to use, they're going to stay a little behind cover as they're coming out there. So these guys aren't going to attack quite yet, but these guys are. Um, these juggers are going to move together. And this tank is going to, let's say he's going to flank around. Okay. All right. So for this first attack, this these spiders come up. Going to attack the heavy gunners with their speed. And they take a hit for every four, five, and six. Okay. Four, five, six. Three hits already to the gunners. Okay. Now that's probably pretty scary and going to be overwhelming for them, um, but let's see how they respond. Let's start with the heavy gunners. They're going to fire off against them, but this time because there's only three in the squad, they only get to roll three dice. So two hit to the spiders, and then we've got a couple tanks. Let's fire off one, which is in range, which is in four. So because it's a hero, he gets to roll three. Unfortunately, 
that bigger gun, it only hits one. So half the force is down. These guys are ranged so they can't move. These guys could move. Um, and then these guys, I think they're going to rush forward after the initial barrage. Fortunately, they're not quite aware that there's a group of spiders right around the corner. Too bad for them. I'm rooting for the military guys, but these invaders are pretty scary. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is these spiders are going to move just, just a little closer, trying to stay in range, but get closer to the building. Maybe even climb on top of it if we're thinking about it. But right now they're just moving quickly through, uh, and they're going to take a shot at these guys. So three on three. Oop, that was three hits. So heavy gunners gone. Okay, these guys are going to move into position quickly. Falling over the place. Slippery spiders. Okay. They're going to swarm over top, these guys, and these juggers are going to move into position as well. So we've got six shots against the foot soldiers from the spiders with three hits. Now, if these guys can survive, they got medical, which means they can potentially come back, but I don't know with, with two juggers on the coming at them. We'll attack with one because the other one's falling. Okay. So that's two hits. Oh, and the juggers have a hero ability. Gains 1D dice whenever any are killed within one rest pencil. So they dealt two hits, but let's see if they can get... Nope, that one survived. Okay, I don't know if it's going to survive for much longer, but he's going to recover at the end of the round one soldier because I think this was medical. And then this guy is going to move here as he kind of floats to the side. All right, now the question is, is it's not looking very good, so we're still looking for the tanks. Um, we've got one guy who's already attacked, um, but they can attack again. So let's move this guy into position here. Um, and he's going to attack one of the juggers. The one that's reloading is there. And then this guy's going to attack those spiders. Um, so let's roll for the spiders first, see if the tank can take them out. Just one. So one spider there. And then this guy is going to attack the jugger that he can see, just barely. And that's two hits. Unfortunately for the, the for the tank, they need three total hits in a round, so that's an it. That's not enough. So that's going to clear out. Now it's back to the invader's turn. So let's roll this guy through. All right, and then these spiders are going to let's say these guys are going to start moving towards the tank. Get within range. Um, these juggers are going to step up and take out these last two guys, and this guy is going to move over to range. So we've got um, we've got six shots on one tank. That's three hits, but because the tank has armor, um, any hits against it have to be rerolled. So one hit okay so not enough to take care of that tank this guy is going to take two one one but again not enough to deal too much damage now we're going to take care of the the juggers attacking these this force here and that's enough to wipe off the soldiers okay uh it's not looking good the tanks we've got two that have reloaded one that's still there um so now it's going to say if they move, they can't attack. So again, we've got the spiders coming in. They can't attack at point blank. So if the juggers get there, they're going to be toast. But let's attack this one guy here with three. That's just one. Okay. Um, let's 
that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So now we've got two people who are ready to fire next round. Um, let's see if these guys, he's going to back up a little bit. And these guys are going to back up a bit. But that's okay, because the spiders can move in really quickly. The swarm. There, and this jugger is going to move in. This guy's going to move in. All right, so now things are getting really dicey. So this tank is going to fire here. And because he's a marksman, he's going to reroll any misses. So that's five. That goes There goes that tank. Uh, oh, but the armor, he does get to reroll any armor. So let's reroll those five. Just two. All right, so he's got two hits. Now let's see if the, the spiders can finish him off. That's one hit. How we roll? It's a second hit. Okay, so this guy still survives. These guys are going to take six shots on this tank um, because he has armor. He's going to re-roll these two. Just one. Okay, so the tanks are surviving. All right, but these guys are the only ones that can attack. So this guy is going to fire off against the jugger. So let's roll three. One hit. That's not enough. This guy's going to attack the spiders. Okay, these spiders are gone. All right. Okay, let's come back to the invaders. So let's move this guy. All right, now he's in range. He can use his beam strike. When attacking this force, hits impacts any two forces in range. Um, so let's, so who's there? Let's push him. There. Again, we're playing pretty loosey goosey with the range a little bit just because I'm just playing by myself. It's fine. All right, so let's attack these guys. This, these will apply to both tanks. Ooh. Okay, we're going to reroll. Okay, six hits. So these guys are going to use their armor. One, two, three. Okay, that was enough. Beam strike takes out two tanks. Um, these guys are going to take out, are going to try to take out the tank. Um, they got three hits, so the tank is going to reroll those. One, let's see, the jugger can't quite get there. They will next one. This guy's just going to move in the back here. All right, I think he's got one last chance to take out a jugger before he's overwhelmed. So let's roll that. That's not enough. Now this jugger is going to step in. This guy is going to step in. Let's see what the spiders do. That's one, two, three hits. We go for the armor. One hit. The jugger is going to attack with three. That's two. That's miss. Um, and then we're going to take that guy. So he was roughly there. All right. So one more shot with the t with the tank on the jugger. Not enough. Same thing as before. One, two. Those get to reroll. So one hit. And the jugger is going to attack. So that's one. That's a miss. Okay, now it's the last one is the elite. It's going to roll all six. So he's already taken one hit. Rerolls any misses. There. And then reroll armor. Okay. Three hits, last tank is gone. And with that, the invaders have decimated the um, military force, claiming further dominance within the Fairview. And now it's going to be up to the Bearcats to resist the, uh, the invading force in their fair town.